Hello, Taylor Elwood, your business wizard for eccentric entrepreneurs at imagineyourreality.com. And uh, today I want to continue to talk about failure. Um, last week, you know, I did a video about failure and, 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 you know, kind of the realities of failure. This week I want to talk about how to handle failure. Um, specifically, I want to talk about how to handle um, stopping yourself from bashing your head against a brick wall. That sounds really graphic, and it is, because a lot of times what I notice in businesses is that people will tend to bash their heads against a brick wall when it comes to the business. Um, you know, they will try and make something happen, and they'll keep trying and trying and trying and trying, and it doesn't go anywhere. And the reason why is because they're basically repeating the same mistakes again and again and again and again. And um, that's part of what gets people to quit a business is because they they failed but they haven't realized they failed or um, and, and when they finally do realize they fail they, they they just they can't handle it anymore or because they they don't know how to adapt to the circumstance look as someone who has failed numerous times in business I can tell you that one of the most important things you need to learn how to do is how to take those failures and turn them into opportunities. But part of being able to do that is recognizing when you're bashing your head against the wall. So uh, let me give you an example here. Um, let's say you put together a class and you promote that class and you put it out there and no one signs up. Okay, first time, yeah, that sucks you ideally are taking a look at what you've done and what has or hasn't worked and 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 you know you'll try it again second time's a charm right you try again same thing happens you try again and the third time it happens well the more you keep trying the more likely it's going to be that it won't work now there it's true that at a certain point you might hit a point of success with trying to promote this class uh, but alternately, this is this is what I do. I will I will c come up with a class. I will put it out there, and if no one signs up for it the first time, okay, fair enough. I'll try and change a few things, see if that makes a difference. And second time, I'll put it out there and see. And if no one signs up again, I'm probably gonna at that point just let it go. And something I've learned to do is to instead of putting all instead of creating the class materials ahead of time, I'm, I'm now only creating class materials if I know people are interested, um, or if I know that people are, are going to pay for it. Like for example, I have on my on my Patreon. If I'm going to create a class now, I'm going to set it up so that I am actually hopefully getting people's support and they're getting early access to the class, but I'm getting people's support for creating that class ahead of time. <coughs> The reason I'm going to do that is because it's more cost effective for me. If I put hours and hours ahead of time into the class and I promote it and no one signs up for it, guess what? Those hours are wasted. The time is gone. Um, so, so you know, you, you've got to look at your failures. You've got to look at where you're bashing your head against the wall and figure out what you're doing that isn't working. And sometimes you might just discover that what isn't working is the fact that people don't really need what you're, what you're trying to sell them. Um, you know, and that's why you want to go ahead and do a survey ahead of time um, to find out what people need. But sometimes people will tell you what they need and they still won't buy. And so then you've got to kind of figure out why that is. Um, so in business, it is really important to understand that sometimes you are going to bash your head against the wall, but that you don't want to keep doing it over and over again because it is an exercise in futility. It is frustrating. And that is what will kill your love for your business. Um, do it, you know. Try a couple times, see what happens, and if, if you, you aren't getting success by the second time, um, you might even try a third time, but, but look at drastically changing some things. And if you're still not getting success, let it go and move on to the next project. That's one of the things that I've, I've learned over the years is that, you know, it's really important to know when to just let go and move on to the next project because sometimes something isn't going to stick through. You know, we talk about persistence in business and how you got to stick it out, and persistence is important. But let me be honest here, you also got to think smart with your business. You got to be smart. And part of being smart is knowing when to back off and let go of something and focus on the next thing. Um, and it's also part of being smart is, is finding out what people want and then putting something together that is affordable for them, that makes sense for them. 
And that's true regardless of what type of business you're in. Um, you know, you could be a product-based business and it's the same thing. You know, you can create a perfect, uh, an awesome product, but if nobody wants it, then it doesn't really matter. So you got to really think smart about it. Um, you know, you're going to fail. That's an inevitable reality of business. The key is how do you learn from it? And so for this week's video, I, I hope that the takeaway for you really is don't bash your head against the brick wall. You know, um, try a couple times um, with, with something. If, if you don't succeed the first time, try again and see what happens. But don't, but don't hold on to it for so long that, that, that you just, that, that it, because that'll kill your love for your business and it'll kill your business. So know when to stop bashing your head against the wall. That's um, this week's lesson about failure, and we'll talk more about failure next week. All right, everyone, thank you so much. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, click on the dragon um, over here. And if you have a comment, leave it below, and uh, you know, tell us about your own experiences of how you've, you know, learned how not to bash your head against the wall when it comes to your business.